This is one of the worst thermal functions of all time. Built to replace the Ariane 4 rocket, the first launch of the Ariane 5 culminated in utter disaster, all because of a preventable software failure. The explosion that ended the European Space Agency's hopes at independent access to space was a result of a self-destruct mechanism triggered by the flight termination system. Approximately 37 seconds after launch, a failed attempt to convert a 64-bit floating point number into a 16-bit signed integer led to an overflow, and that set off a cascade of failures that would eventually come to put the integrity of the mission in jeopardy. And what made this error catastrophic was that it was located in the Inertial Reference System IRS, a module that handled horizontal velocity calculations. And with the IRS gone, the flight control system lost important guidance data, making it effectively blind, which ultimately caused the rocket to veer off its intended flight path. Because of the potential for the loss of human lives, the self-destruction mechanism was activated, which ultimately put an end to the mission before anything worse could happen. The loss of the Ariane 5 rocket came at a very significant financial cost, estimated at around 370 million, with this project being in the works for over 9 years. Luckily, no lives were lost if this was an unmanned mission. After investigation, it came to surface that the IRS system reused a module from the Ariane 4 that contained code that was not intended for the Ariane 5 but that it was still executed. It turns out the failed conversion was a part of the code that was not needed for this rocket. A prime example of how that code can be problematic. So these are the takeaways from this failed mission, among many more. 1. Do thorough testing and validation of all software components, even those considered proven. 2. Remember that that code can still come back to life if not removed. And 3. Software should be designed to handle errors gracefully and safely. Subscribe for more.